Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicola and I blog over at thefrugalcottage.com all about budgeting, money saving, bit of investing and lots of things in between. Um, if you're new here then hello, welcome and if you're not new then welcome back and it's nice to see you again. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button below um, to be notified of more content when it gets uploaded. Um, it's a new week so I'm going to start with my cash envelope stuffing video so if you're not new you know that this is my setup now so I have this little binder with my envelopes inside so just get those out of there. It's going to be slightly different today because I've, I've already um, done something with one of them but I'll, I'll explain when that when we get there so um, and there also is there's some there's some money left in all of these. We, I don't feel like I spent a lot this week. I haven't actually done. Whoa, look at that pound coin. That's that doesn't look good. Um, I haven't done my like budget update yet. I'll be totally honest. I've kind of fallen behind with my tracking, which is really bad. And um, unlike me, so I'm going to try and get back on track with that. So there are some. So the food has about ten pound, nine pound left in that in change, maybe something like that. Anyway, the food envelope. Cash doesn't have any and it never does. Um, miscellaneous has about six pound left. Six-ish pound in there. Children, I've not touched this this week, so that still has that 20 pound in and some change. We didn't end up going anywhere. Eating out as well, I've not touched. There's still 10 pound in there. And then clothes, there wasn't anything in that. I didn't put anything in that last week. Um, so that's what they look like at the moment. Um, so we'll see. I was sat last night doing some kind of more sums and budgets and things and see what we need to do to kind of stay on track. Um, so, and I do think that these, this system really helps. And if you're interested, I will also link the binder. Um, and it doesn't, you can get this in, I've got this in like a purpley colour. Does that show there? Oh, look at the shadows. <laughs> um, but you can get them in different colours. I just like that one. And then, and these little envelopes, so they're both just from Amazon. Um, I'll link those below if you want to have a look. Um, so we'll start with food. I'll move it over there. So what did I say? There's about £9 left in there. Um, so I think... Hmm... We're, we're running, like, I think there's literally only milk and cheese in the fridge. Like, we're running really low on everything. So, um, I think I'm going to put £70 in the food envelope. And that then takes me to, sit, like, £79 and whatever the change is. So, here's my cash. <laughs> so, 20, 40, 60, 70... Um, I only got a hundred pound out this week, and again I'll explain why in a second. So that's seventy pound there. I'm gonna go in my food envelope. My food envelope is the one that gets used the most, um, and it's starting to show. Not the envelope itself is fine, like it's. It, uh, um, oh, it's starting to show. Is that in there? Not the envelope itself, but you know, I I, I just made these like little kind of. Oh, what do I call it? like insert label, whatever you want to call these. Actually, that's the bit that's getting a bit like um, just getting a bit worn. Like there's a bit of a tear in the top there, um, so I just need to print them out again, I think. But I put seventy pound in there, so that gives me seventy nine pound and whatever the change is. And I think <clears throat> I think that that you know that obviously should do us all week. And um, maybe I was thinking like I need to start thinking of things that we eat regularly week in week out and maybe when I have so there was nine pounds spare there wasn't there maybe sometimes I should use that spare to kind of buy more of the things we eat all the time so for example the reason why I thought about this yesterday is that um, our four-year-old really likes you know the filled patty you get in the supermarket so he really likes that with the sauce the pasta sauce you can buy um, and the dates on those are actually quite like they're quite long dates though and they just they just they could just stay in the fridge and that'd be something that's handy to have in for you know when you have a night where you really can't bother to cook or do anything just to have in and then there's something for him and and it's still I mean it's not really healthy but it's better than like a takeaway or something so little things like that and obviously tins of things and I just need to get a bit better a bit better at like buying two or something or three or something at the supermarket rather than because I've had a list every week in a meal plan um, and I feel like I should maybe um, kind of think about maybe instead of buying two tins of baked beans maybe buy three or buy two tins of soup instead of one that kind of thing so we'll see how that goes that week this week 
and that's my food over right there so petrol this is the one that's slightly different and this is why i've only got a hundred pound out this week i um i went and got my cash out yesterday and i also got petrol at the same time and just paid my card and that's because my red light had been on um for for quite a while um and as someone who really doesn't like driving with the red light i like i don't like to let the petrol get that low in the car but i had done and I was at, I just went to Asda to the cash point and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to get the petrol here as well because it's really cheap at Asda at the moment. Well, no, <laughs> it's not really cheap anyway, but Asda near us is the cheapest around for us. And I was like, well, I'm there, I'm just going to get the petrol. So I put £30 worth of petrol in the car last night um, and hence why that's empty and will remain empty because obviously I don't, don't need to put any more in that. But that's why it looks like I've not really got any cash out. Uh, miscellaneous um, <clears throat> has what's what's about that about six pound ish in there. Um, I uh, I still think I'm going to spend quite a lot of money in this this week. Um, I still I need to buy two more light bulbs and how expensive are blooming light bulbs? The ones that I need to get are four pound each and I need two so that's obviously eight pound. I also need to get these things. It's like what was the other household thing that I need to get? That's quite I can't remember right now. It's quite expensive. I can't remember, but I feel like miscellaneous this month is going to be taking a hit. But if you watch my October budget video at the start of the month, you'll know that I've increased my miscellaneous budget. Um, it's now at £150 instead of £100. Um, <clears throat> and that's just for the, the three months in the run up to Christmas, because the Christmas presents will probably come out of this category. Um, and then in January, it'll go back down to £100. I think that's the aim anyway. Um, so I think for now, I don't know if you, can see, you can't see that, I've got £30 left um, and I think, I think I'm going to put it all in this miscellaneous, what else have I got, children, eating out, clothes, yeah do you know, I'm going to put it all in this miscellaneous envelope, um, I do think that I, I probably will spend, I, did I put £30 in this last week as well, I think I did, anyway, so that £30, all in £10 notes, <laughs> is going to go in my miscellaneous envelope which I used to put, it seems like a lot of money to put in this in one but there you go, um, so that now has 35, 36 ish pounds in there um, what is it that I need? I genuinely do need something else that will come out of this and I cannot think what it is anyway, let's hope I remember before I go to the shops um, so children uh, is going to stay, obviously now I've, I've not got any money here so it's going to stay. There's 20 pounds and 60, 70, 80, 85, 85 pence, 20 pound 85 pence. Um, I'm hoping that we might get somewhere this week um, as a little trip somewhere but it'll come from that if you want. Uh, in fact actually no he did go out somewhere on Friday um, with my husband but it turned out to be free entry so that he took some money from, from this envelope to go. It's like a big sensory room near us um, with lots of little activities for kind of younger children and, and we both thought that you'd have to pay for that but then when they arrived you didn't so that was quite nice. Um, but I think we'll do something different. I need to brave taking him swimming again. <laughs> but there you go. So the children's envelope is going to stay the same. The eating out envelope. I put £10 in this. It's like bleh, in this last week. Can't get my words out. And that stayed there. I've not been anywhere. I've not even had a takeaway coffee. <laughs> Um, I know you read lots of like personal finance things to say, oh, it's it's called the latte factor where you you know you need to cut out your takeaway coffees and make a big difference. But um, as a treat every now and again, I do like them. And Costa have got their bonfire spiced kind of range out at the moment, and I really like the lattes and that. So we'll see. I may or may not go there this week. We'll see. See if that's intact by the end. And then clothes is my final one, and that's empty and will remain so. Um, I generally don't spend a lot on clothes if you've been watching my videos. The only time I went over budget on that was buying school uniform. Um, we don't, we don't. I'm not a clothes shopper. I really don't enjoy that experience. So there we go. So there are my six cash envelopes for this week. Um, which are slightly skewed because of this one. But I'm okay with that. I couldn't drive any further with this red light on. It was starting to really stress me and I, I just worry that... There'd be nothing worse than kind of breaking down and going, oh, it's because I've run out of petrol. Um, because, you know, that's just, <laughs> I don't know, that's just daft. So, yeah, so that's it. So they're my cash envelopes this week and I will see you next time. Bye.